Well, there is Matt Wallace, and he's added a second birdie, so it's a good start from him. Birdie, birdie start for the Englishman. And here he is on the third tee, and watching this group of Wallace, Horsfield and Callum Hill is John Morgan. This is just a seven iron for Matt Wallace. It's a very efficient golf swing, but on this occasion just leaked a little right. He's going to pitch it in the fringe if he dare. Oh, how good was that? Yeah, very good. You're quite right. Exactly what you said, John. Had to pitch it in the fringe. He did do that. And Wallace with a birdie birdie start might just make his par there. Feet. Yes, that's a really good up and down for Matt Wallace. As John described, really fast down there, had to land it in the fringe, so he's escaped. 176 here for Matt Wallace after a nice drive down the right, slightly playing uphill, bit of breeze into their faces, not really much to write home about. This is a full eight, I feel. Pins in a tough place on that left, close to that bunker. Yeah, he said it. Ah. Awful, he said, as soon as he hit it. Distance is everything, obviously. Already attending the pin, is Kenny. Well, he wasn't happy, was he, with the second shot. Put to the whole side, that was nicely judged. Very nice. Top tracer following the flight of that. Excellent. Very good. Take that all day long. Really well. Now let's have a look. Let's see John. Let's, his eagle eyes. He's pretty good with the lines, John. There it goes. There's that bit of right to left. Yeah, good pump. It's quick from there. Really well done from where he was to control it, get it absolutely flag high. Top class that from Wallace. Round it comes. Yes, beautiful stuff from Matt Wallace now. Up into a tie for 10th. Early days, I know, but uh, that's a very nice start. A couple of birdies to start with through those string of pars in. And he's got the par 5 ninth coming up now as well. Never easy when you can't see the flag. Just relying purely on a number. Oh, has he overcooked it or is it good? It's going to scamper all the way to the back. It was a good hit. Two fabulous hits. There you go, on the green and running all the way. Just a little overbid. Well, he just hung on to the edge of the green, Matt Wallace. So it is for the birdie. It'd be a shame because the two shots deserve better. He'll be really annoyed with himself there. That's not the best strike in the world. Go. I'm not happy with the strike, but that's worked out okay for Matt Wallace. Round it comes. Better than okay. Getting better and better. Perfect. This is just the pitching where dead aim he's going to take it. This real delayed reaction in his swing. Really smooth. Some of the yardage. Some horse field. Look at that, absolute kicking birdie there for Matt Wallace. To four under it is for Matt Wallace. Four birdies, no drop shots. And one under for this back nine. So he moves right up the leaderboard now. Oh, 
Well, that looks like it's the aggressive play. And it's the right play, really. Edge. It really is. Superb. The drive made that possible. It was a wonderful tee shot to where he was. Wedge plays being, as John Morgan says, top class. What a fantastically well played hole that really was. Textbook. Perfect tee shot. Wonderful control of flight and spin with a wedge and just smooths it in for the birdie. Interesting, now you see the change in elevation. They are 31 feet below the level of the green, so he was looking for a high draw. And he's in that very popular spot up there on the bank on the right. I hope he's carried the thick stuff. I'm sure he has, but if he's in that hay, he's got problems. Of vegetation on the club face as he picked that up. <laughs> he had half of Celtic Manor around his sand iron then. He's making a bit of mess, bit of a mess of this hole. Beautifully played. Oh, unlucky. Having his first drop shot today, though, that will not please him at that hole either. Another wayward one from Matt Wallace. Wallace trying to pop this one up on top of the green, but it's nestled in, well, I wouldn't call it divot, just a bit of a place where a crew's just tried to find a worm. Nope, he's not getting there. So Bogey at 15, missed the birdie putt that he should have probably made at 16, and now faced with a long par save. He needs to find a birdie, Matt Wallace just for his mental well-being overnight, just to get him back on track, came with all positive vibes. That is a stunner. Yeah, and bounding on down that slope. What a tee shot. Can he capitalise? Can he take advantage? He doesn't look like he likes it. It looks like something distracted him over on the left side and that is now almost a cricket pitch. A good 22 yards or more from the flag. It's not a guaranteed two putt, is it, from where he is, Wallace, but this is essential for him. Steady on. A uh, little speedy, but from that range, that's not bad at all. So he'll have that for a round of 67, Matt Wallace. Nice and firm. Straight gets it. And it is. Great birdie to finish from Matt Wallace. It was a bit of a stumble over the final few holes, but as John Morgan says, that will make his evening a lot easier. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.